Question number six says that a medicine capsule is in the shape of a cylinder with two hemispheres stuck to each of its ends as given in the figure 13.10. The length of the entire capsule is 14 millimeters and the diameter of the capsule is 5 millimeters. We have to find the surface area of the capsule. So the first thing that we can do is we can highlight the two hemispheres by drawing two line segments like this. So that clearly shows us that there are two hemispheres stuck at both the ends of a cylinder. So the whole capsule is made out of one cylinder and two hemispheres. Now from the figure it's clear that the diameter of the capsule which is 5 millimeters is the diameter for the cylinder and is also the diameter for the hemisphere. That is D which is the diameter equals 5 millimeters. Therefore, the radius R for the hemisphere and for the cylinder will be equal to half of it. That is 5 by 2 millimeters. Now, the next part that we have to do is to find the height of the cylinder. Now, the total length of the capsule has been given as 14 millimeters. This part, which is the radius, will be 5 by 2 millimeters. And this again on the other side will be 5 by 2 millimeters. Subtracting these two parts will give us the remaining part which will be the height of the cylinder. So 5, plus, 5 by 2 plus 5 by 2 will be 5. So if we subtract 5 from 14, we get the height of the cylinder as 9. So what we have done is we have subtracted 5 from 14 which is the total length of the capsule and that gave us the height of the cylindrical part to be 9 millimeters. Now our main objective was to find the total surface area of the capsule and that as we can clearly see from the figure can be found by having two times the curved surface area of hemisphere plus the curved surface area of cylinder. Now let's write the formulas for each of these. 2 times 2 pi r square. 2 pi r square is the curved surface area of hemisphere plus curved surface area of cylinder which will be 2 pi r h. We can take 2 pi r common that will leave us with 2 r plus h inside the brackets. Now let's substitute the values 2 times 22 by 7 times 5 by 2 times 2 times 5 by 2 which is added to 9. Now we can cancel out 2 and 2. Inside the brackets again we can cancel out 2 and 2. So that gives us 110 divided by 7 times 5 plus 9 which is 14. So we can again cancel out 14 and 7 and we finally get the total answer as 220 millimeters squared as the total surface area of the given capsule. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.